Hello everyone, welcome to sunny La Rochelle. Here we are, the first view of our new Sport 900 from Highfield Boats. This one, a very special number one. This is going to be the race committee boat for the Route du Rum Star in 2022. So she is going to be front and center on the Suzuki stand here. Our Suzuki partnership with the Route du Rum goes back to 2018 and will continue into 2022. The hull form, the first thing to tell you about is it's based on our Patrol 860. So this hull has been refined. The underwater profile has been improved by Petter Martin. So we now have race boat. We have race boat DNA underneath these tubes. And I'll give you an idea of what we see under here. First thing you'll see is we've added a spray rail, an extra spray rail. Now, why have we added that? That actually deflects between 30 and 40% of the spray away from this first chine. So by the time the water hits this first chine, 30, 40% of it has already been deflected away from the hull. It also gives us a little bit extra lift, which on a boat of this size is quite important. But look at these chines, look at them. Look at the deflective angles. These angles are deflecting all of that water away from the tubes and away from the boat. That keeps you drier, that keeps you more comfortable on long passages and when the sea conditions are not favorable. So let's have a look inside. I mean, look at the size of it. It's just the scale of this boat is, is quite amazing for us. Coming aft, this particular boat is fitted with a single 300. You can have up to 600 horsepower on that transom twin engine installation. You can see we've extended the hull in the form of an engine bracket. So that's extended the hull length. Again, we've had help from PETA to make sure that all of that runs as smoothly as possible. In fact, this boat will exceed 60 knots with twin engine installation. Boarding ladder port side, boarding ladder starboard side. Supremely sociable area at the stern. Beautiful handholds. I mean, honestly, it's such an easy boat to board. I just take my shoes off and climb on and give you an overview. Shower, filler and shower exit here. Nice, look at that. Rear sun deck, you know, a rear sun deck. It's just a beautiful thing. You can extend that sun deck size by flipping that rear bench backrest forwards. So the entire area then becomes a sun pad. You could fit three or four people on this sun deck and look how easy it is then to, to enjoy the water climbing off, jumping off, diving off, getting back on board. It's really safe, really, really simple for the family. A beautiful place for you to spend some time with your kids and your loved ones. Big four person rear bench, immense storage options under here. Huge storage area. There's your shower tank. That storage runs all the way aft. It's an incredible area. Close that up and this is what we love. Look how sociable this area is here. What a sociable place to sit with your family and friends and just have lunch, have a picnic. Double width table. Look at it, it's beautiful. The table does come out so you can have clear deck space. This seat actually folds flat. So all of this rear space can be open deck space should you want to. It takes you about two minutes to convert that. No problem at all. Coming back into the kitchenette. So the kitchenette, this boat is working for the Ridge Room so it doesn't need that, but you can fit here easily. Hop sink beautiful on the port side here you'll have a fridge the fridge fits in here nice drawer fridge so this boat is really as self-contained as it gets shower hob sink fridge here we come to our driver and passenger seating this comes into our normal sport seating flip up sit down they're on sliders so you can really adjust your adjust your driving position to suit nice functional contour massive area here for big plotter screens you've got your push start on this one obviously the brush switch panel digital throttle handhold for the passenger cup holders charging points everything you need is here battery switching your windlass switches are out of the way which is quite important because a windlass switch is never the prettiest thing so we've hidden that so it's not right in your face you know but your windlass switches are here coming forward look at these handholds look at them you're not going to be unsafe on this boat forwards and aft we've put these handholds in all the right places and then on the inside of the tubes you've got your lifeline so if you've got kids on board if you've got friends if you've got family they are safe on here look at this look at the strength of this i mean look at that it's massive over engineered like everything we do at Highfield Boats, over engineered. The strength in that T-top is huge. You can have this T-top as canvas like this one here, or you can have it as a GRP semi hard top. Coming forwards, this is one of my favorite parts of this boat. 
this permanent bow sun deck. Two people, three people, no problem at all. Permanent, but look at the size of this locker. Look at this locker. Look at that. I mean, it is enormous. It is enormous. That storage area is unbelievably big. And then you have access there from a technical point of view into your windlass chain storage area. The beauty of that is if we go forwards and I show you the windlass motor and the windlass design under this hatch. It's what that means is your chain or your wet anchor chain does not interfere with that huge locker that I've just shown you. The chain drops into an area that doesn't encumber your piece, your, your materials and your belongings. So none of it will get dirty and wet. Forward facing seat on the console, lift up. Again, making this boat self-contained. Easy room in here for a toilet, nice drop down, huge storage area if you wish. Massively easy access to your electrics, to your fuses, all the bits you're going to need on a day out if you have any issues. Portholes, port and starboard. Toilet can go in here. So this boat can have shower, hob, sink, fridge, toilet, anything you want. That's a fully self-contained nine meter rib. Easy access down the side panels here again hand holes in the right places to keep you nice and safe you can easily pass the console port and starboard on this boat it is an absolute monster it will do 62 knots with 600 horsepower it's got a 430 liter fuel tank it's category b or category c depending on how many people you want to carry it is an all weather this boat will go through anything it will go through anything you will give up before it gives up the hull design is unbelievable I urge you, all of you, if you're looking for a boat of this size, come and check this one out.